finish him off. Well, you might as well forget it, because you're no match for him. Regardless, I must go. I had a chance to stop him before, but I couldn't. I'm responsible for all this mess. Responsible? Does it bother you that much? He's my father. Besides, who else can undo what he's done? A demon like you wouldn't understand. Father and family, huh? Well, I'll go too. But you better hurry if you don't want me to take all the credit. You know, what if Lady had a voice like, You wouldn't understand. It's my responsibility. Totes sad. Or some shit. I don't know. Virgil, super sloppy fight. Virgil 3, I guarantee. I guarantee Virgil 3. Spoilers. You do fight Virgil. At this point, who hasn't seen DMC 3? I mean, a lot of people. I think I mentioned this before too, but the tower, how it's... In opposite direction of Devil May Cry 1's plot, where you go down, right? Underneath, to, for like the underworld and shit like that. But Devil May Cry 3, you keep going up. It's like some Tower of uh, Babel shit. I, I kind of like the uh, poetry there. The underworld, the demon world, and all that shit is up in the sky. Some cool decoratives, and I'm wasting time here. So at this point of the story, uh, Virgil drops Beowulf behind. You pick it up like roughly around here, and then uh, you're supposed to defeat one of the combat stylish things. You know, like, oh, get like A rank, and then you get a blue or fragment. Yeah, it would be blocked off here. So it's kind of cool story-wise because Virgil, having dropped Beowulf, and now it's in Dante's possession, he does not use it in uh, Virgil Fight 3. The biggest change in this game now is that a lot of the rooms are just fucked up, as you can already tell. Different doors connect to different areas now, like the hallway that you remember is just fucking obliterated. New entry points, etc. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. Because we're familiar with all these locations. And being able to revisit them, but due to different circumstances, definitely changes how we experience it in contrast to our first blind experience entering this tower. It's like, it's like I recognize this area, but it's like, holy shit, there's like a new doorway here. Like, what the fuck? Like, this wasn't here before. Like, what the fuck? Holy shit, man. My fucking... Oh, no. I think you just have to be patient with these guys, as frustrating as it may be, like, they do quite a bit of damage with their, uh, swipey swipe Seriously? He didn't die? What the fuck, man? And the- the one that just spawns double triggers, are you fucking mad, video game? Are you for real? He's double triggered? You for real? What the fuck? What the fuck? Look how much damage I'm not doing, man. I need some cutting edge technology or some better strats. It's okay. I I I'm, I I I. Mm. Dude, I did a full DT. I did a full DT burst. 
It didn't even bring out 25% of its HP. I think that's kind of broken. This isn't mandatory, is it? I'm pretty sure it's mandatory. If it's not mandatory, I'm gonna fucking cry. Yep. If it wasn't mandatory... Oh man. Look at these guys! Oh, you can't interact with them anymore? Aww. But it was so f the description was just so funny and I can't even remember it. It was so funny that it was so bad and terrible at the same time. I know they made fun of them. Whew. Hey man, nice to meet you. Bye. Mission 12 is just really fun. Unlimited DT, super armor, poise, armor, regeneration, extra DPS, attack speed. Ooh, Nelly. Party's getting crazy! Let's rock! Let's rock! Got to be a little bit more wary about this fucker. I should have I should have done the DT burst before he activated DT. I was debating if I was kind of hoping that there would be another like uh, wave of enemies that I could just DT and uh, get rid of in the beginning. Maybe not in the beginning, but like you know what I mean. Man, they're so tanky. Jesus, man. Not like this. And a lot of other games, too. Like, when you increase difficulty, it's not the bosses that give you trouble. Because, like, they have certain phases. They have, you know, attack patterns. When you have multiple enemies at the same time, and it's just all over the fucking place, of course, that's where the uh, difficulty shines. Yep. Just a quick stop. You know, maybe I should have done a Agni and Rudra because I can at least get the really nice jump attack in there. Oh, 
It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's just a unicorn by itself or the knight. <laughs> the unicorn. The fucking abyssal pony. Hey man, unicorns aren't ponies. Get this shit right, bro. Well, if you thought I was smart, I think you came to the wrong channel, man. Sorry to break it to you, bud. Didn't even get DT. Like my style. No fucking move, you tit fuck. Ah, they're getting hit by like all the shit. <laughs> Look how much HP it fucking has in DT, man. It's amazing. Just insert the Captain America gift. I could do this all day. It can be a little bit disorientating, but basically try to do a counterclockwise um, approach on all the rooms. Actually, it's not that disorientating. It's only like one or the other. Fuck you, little twat. It's more disorientating to watch the cutscene. If you just skip it, it's a lot easier to just know where to go. You know, counterclockwise is completely wrong. Just like, just... I don't know. Just figure it out. <laughs> I think you're supposed to help us, man! I don't know how to do this mode! It's a bull. You shouldn't have this mode in the first place. I'm trying. I'm trying to be edgy. It's just... My kind of edge is living on the edge. Let's do this. And I just fucking missed it there. Nice, Dante. I know. One thing I really miss in this game is not having round trip. I think Virgil has it, but Dante doesn't have it in this game. Which is kind of weird, because he has it in uh, Devil May Cry 1. I don't think Devil May Cry 2 has it. No, Devil May Cry 2 doesn't have anything. They have like Ninja Gaiden combos and it just doesn't work in the game. It's like, yeah, and this stinger is so fucking painful. It's so slow in that game. It's so slow in Devil May Cry 2. It's like the worst stinger in existence, man. I was created by him. I am going to attack the humans one day. Fucking humans. See, look at this location, man. We're even higher now. In this area where we're supposed to, like, guide the light and everything. It's just, it's just nothing there. Actually, even if you were here, you can't even tell. It's just, like, it's just less shit. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I am not doing this again. Fuck it. Fuck it, you can't make me. Fuck you. Fuck you, red ones. You piece of shit, garbage, fucking enemy, enigma. How do you say it's so weird? I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know how to pronounce the fucking Quicksilver boss, man. Now we're here. Look. 
It's just fucking weird. You can actually go back to where the store is, too, which is kind of cool. I'll show you. If you go this way... The fucking tables, man. Nope, fuck you. And we're here. A lot of fun enemies. A lot of fun enemies. Nice to meet you guys. Bye. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. I fucking saw that, man. The enemies are fucking sneaky. I really like how everything is connected in one way or another, right? The physics just went out the fuck. No, it's been gone since fucking Mission 1, man. When they made this game, I feel like the director had a bunch of action sequences in mind. And he wrote the story around the action sequences. Not write the story and have the action motivated by the plot. It's the plot motivated by the action cool scenes. Like, it's the opposite form of writing. You don't do cool scenes and have the character f and find the motivation for it. You know what I mean? But it just works so well in this game.